Safety first. Hello and welcome to 2020 on mm. Clubus in a Caravan. It is, God, what day of the week? Um, March the, no, May a, the 9th. Whatever. What year yeah, is it? And it's a Saturday. It's a Saturday. No, it's not. It's a Sunday. No, it's oh, definitely yeah, a Saturday. Oh, you're right. It's Saturday. Yeah. And we're going a bit locked down crazy. <laughs> so by now we would have expected to have gone out. What? Three or four times, yeah, at least a couple of times in the caravan, yeah. and we haven't been out at all. We are currently in the lockup, but you may have noticed the eagle eyed amongst you that we're not in Jackson. Mm. Whoa, because the week before the lockdown was declared, we bought a caravan, <laughs> we had just long enough to tow it into the storage yard and lock it up before Boris decided we couldn't go out in it. Um, and so it's remained here ever since. Um, but we obviously we come out when essential to make sure that it's um safe and not on fire um so this is uh, should we talk about our caravan about the process quickly yes. the toilet is huge <laughs> and it has a microwave <laughs> and a stereo those were the selling points for me honestly so we got it you can from, make waxings. <laughs> we just made the decision we'd, we'd had a report done on jackson um as part of his yearly service and uh, it was impossible to ignore the damp report. Mm. I mean, 100% quite a high number, really, for damp. Not <laughs> ideal. I'm not sure. Yeah, my, um, if I would have slept, slept in my bed, my feet would have gone soaked. <laughs> um, he did not winter well, did he, this year, Jackson? No, and there, there have been some issues last year where it, it would become apparent that he was just a bit too mm. small, and we'd chosen him because of making it easy to tow. Yeah. Since then... We've got a newer car which can pull a bigger caravan. Yeah, before we just had a girl racer car. And um, and we'd, we'd found it easy, hadn't we, to pull mm. Jackson with the with the newer car. Mm. And so I was feeling more confident about pulling because we'd driven all the way back from Axminster in one go. We hadn't intended to. We were getting ahead of a, a storm. And that was fine. It was absolutely fine. So this year, we, when uh, the weather changed, or when, when, the, when the year changed, we decided to have a look at perhaps having a more permanent replacement. And we, we obviously looked online, as everybody does, but we ended up going to a place called Freedom to Go Caravans, which is in Fair Oak, which is nearish Southampton, isn't mm -hmm. it? And what was the name of the guy, Tom? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Tom, they've got, they had, obviously, we will exp we'll explain exactly what we've got. We obviously are, as with Jackson, are, we're looking to get the best value for the least amount of money. And so we were not looking at anything new. We weren't looking at like a dealer secondhand where they're really only dealing in caravans that are a few years old. We were looking at the next tier below that. And Freedom to Go had a lovely large selection for us. Yes, it was great. And we could probably have been happy with Th at least three or four there, wouldn't we? Yeah, we, yeah, we had a short Before list. we went to this one, because she was doing her own thing for some reason, we were in a, me and Dad were in another caravan, um, saying, oh, I think this is the one. But when we came in this one, we well, changed our minds. We, I, I we had wanted a fixed bed. Peter and I want a fixed bed. Because, well, I mean, we don't even need to explain, do we? Um, we would habitually set Jackson up so that the front seats were converted. But that left us with no space in the mm. caravan itself, so we had to use the, the awning all the time. Yeah. Um, and so for us, a fixed bed was mm. Mm. number I... one thing, wasn't it? And most mm. of them have... We look, we, we realised pretty quickly we were looking at a caravan between 10 and 13 or 14 yeah. years old, whereas Jackson was 24. Yeah, he was. Um, and when we started looking at them, we realised that that was at about the time when fixed beds were becoming more common and most of them were using the is it an island no it's not an island bed is it French? they do call them this way it gets three they? beds even one two when, three even when they're on one right. side they're still called island beds so a fixed bed was number one on the list and we had looked at a number that were all the same basically they would have a fixed bed at the back on the right hand side as you go in 
and then most of them would have a small toilet so you'd walk round the bed so it's like an offside bed and then a, a small toilet behind it and George and I had seen a Bailey pageant mm. F4 that's the real thing oh which one was it I don't know squat about caravans it was um, a Bailey pageant something something we would see campaign might have been country don't know, know. whatever doesn't matter it was it was really nice and we've been really impressed when we went in there and uh, we pretty much decided that that would do and then um there was another one immediately in front of it which the instant peter was already in in here and, and they looked um, identical from the outside yeah from the outside they, they looked so just the same i didn't realize till i came in that it was going to be different we came in this is great and i looked and, I, and it was really weird because it felt like I'd looked, walked in the wrong door. Mm. Because I looked to the right where I expected the bed to be and all, the seating area. This U shaped seating, seating area, by the way. And Great. so it has, it's actually a Bailey pageant Vendee or Vendee, which has a fixed transverse bed in what is actually the front of the caravan. Mm. It's huge. So it's on the, A on the front of the A frame. And and this way I get three beds. See, one, two, three, or I could have like a, a emperor sized bed. <laughs> so at this end you've got oh, you've got a single bed there if you wanted. You've got a single bed here or a single bed here. Mm. And of course it also pulls out. Mm. Yeah. But um at the other end you've got you know, I, I can't imagine, I don't think for us on, on a six foot caravan it's hard to imagine you could have a bigger double bed. But we just walked in and thought I just mm. thought I was a little bit nervous because it's a slightly unusual layout, but, but we're slightly unusual. <laughs> it, you know, you just like something, don't you? You just—it's like when you choose a house, you might have a list of houses, all of which appear to meet all the requirements, and then you see another house that's a little bit different, and you think, "Well, actually, forget all that because this is the one I want." Mm. It might have a microwave because ours does, and a stereo. Um, and yet, the, one of the things about this one that is different, apart from the bed and the U-shaped lounge. Is the enormous bathroom it's huge? Which yeah. isn't what I wanted. I wanted the extra worktop space that you Ooh. tend to get with a uh, fixed bed. Yeah, we have However, a we have a downstairs bathroom. That bathroom is bigger than our home <laughs> downstairs bathroom. I think it might be. It has, it, it has a full shower with a thing. I think it's fair to say that um, Peter likes it because of the transverse bed. And the U-shaped lounge. I do like the U-shaped lounge. I like it because of the bathroom. Mm. Because oh, it's got, like it's, got a, it's got a, a real cubicle. Well, not a cubicle, but a cylindrical one. It's got one, a proper. So it's not a yeah, We can start have it's showers. We could have. We could start have showers in the caravan. And yeah, and, obviously yeah, it's all been tested. It's absolutely lovely. So mm. let's not. We'll, we'll probably give a proper tour at, at some point when we're actually on site. Mm. Mm. So at some point in the next 12 months. But um, it's in pristine condition. It's great. Mm. It's amazing. It is immaculate. Um, yeah. It's divine. It's and we're absolutely exquisite. chuffed. We'd be even more chuffed if we were able to use it. Oh, yes. well. So twice in lockdown, we have brought our cups of tea and sat it's... in the caravan just so we can sit in the caravan. Yeah. The f yes. Because we brought it home and then the following weekend we were putting things we cleaned it all out and we were putting things in cupboards ready to go away and we thought oh why don't we just go away this weekend and we we nearly nearly did yeah, the coronavirus said no 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 you're not allowed to have fun. So we well, just the, the clubs were sense. open at that point yeah they? and they said about social distancing and we were only everything. going we were going to Morn Hill, which is 10 minutes from here yes yeah. literally 10 minutes so we were putting everything in the cupboards and think and the beds all made up and everything and we were thinking let's just go today just for mm. a couple of days um because how could we do that was it oh because school had closed yeah School had already closed, yeah. Mm. But our spider sense tingled, and on the Monday, everything changed, didn't it? So we didn't actually on the Sunday, get away. It changed on the Sunday because all the clubs shut on Sunday. Mm. The clubs shut and the mm. National Trust shut. So and if we so had gone, that. we would have literally turned around and gone. We wouldn't home have got again. in, yeah. They'd have yeah. stopped us. So. Mm. And we wouldn't have felt right about it. And by that time, by Sunday morning, we'd already pretty much decided we weren't going to go anywhere. Mm. Dear, annoying that it was. But. You know, hopefully we're not a million months away from 
taking it to a local site. No, we have to believe that we will get away in our new caravan. In the grand scheme of things, of course, it is just a few months delay. Mm. Yeah. Um, You know, this is a serious situation and, um, you know, it'll make it all more enjoyable when we do get out. Mm. Yes. So we towed it home on uh, the back of the Hyundai and it was fine. I really couldn't... uh, You know, sometimes you don't know whether you're being subjective, whether you're noticing things that aren't true you're noticing because you're looking for them mm. yeah but if you asked me i would say there was no difference even though this caravan is 50 percent heavier yes. there was no obvious difference in the handling and i would say it was more stable on the back mm. it's got newer suspension it's got a bigger Alco. tires i guess that makes it's a got difference a stabilizer well. on the front yeah um it's got microwave no no trouble <laughs> at all i mean how it's going to handle chidiuk hill yeah, I, when we, you know, in the dim and distant future where we get to actually go that far, we sh- it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, absolutely uh, fine. I, I've got sports sure. mode, so I'm I'm sorted. So that's where we are at the moment. Ooh. Um, but we've also been given some questions, haven't we? Yes. Uh, yes. The reason for coming out of the caravan today. No, the reason for coming out of the caravan today. Oh, was check. No, the reason for coming out of the caravan today was because I had I've. Put a solar panel on the front, and I just wanted to make sure it was safe. I wanted yes. to come out again and make sure that it was they hadn't burned the caravan down or anything oh. like that. So I'd rather know before I booked any sites. 